you can see by the screen, this is Hannah Kimplin. Uh, most of you know her due to her ridiculous amount of intelligence, but yet at the same time being ridiculously hilarious. Um, I think she's the funniest person in the world. She would say that herself, too. Uh, and while some of you may see one or two sides of her, I am privileged to get to know every crevice of her, literally. <laughs> um, she is a piece of my heart, and I don't know what I would do without her. Um, Hannah came to LCA when I was in sixth grade, but I had known her way before and was never friends with her. Uh, we attended the same church, and I can never remember having a private conversation with her, but I remember going to Sunday school with her every day. I thought she was twins with this girl. She wasn't. Hannah was extremely shy, um, so I thought. <laughs> um, and then when I first decided to reintroduce myself on the playground, I was immediately drawn to her. Hannah was shy and awkward, and I was loud and awkward, so it was a perfect match. Uh, our, tr our friendship truly blossomed in the seventh grade. We became attached to the hip. There wasn't a day when we weren't at each other's houses. During these pivotal times in our life, I got to know Hannah better than I know anyone else. We bonded over Princess Tiana, weird YouTube videos, and lots of other sorts of crazy things. Um, Hannah may have been quiet at school, except in the classes we had together, where she would say something profoundly inappropriate in my ear, and I would laugh and get in trouble, and I would tell the teacher it was Hannah, and they would never believe me. So I spent lots of time with Mr. Mead. Um, <laughs> um, but outside of school, she was bonkers. Um, I knew how hilarious she was before all of you, and that was the best kept secret in the world, too. Um, but our early teenage years were spent mainly laughing, the two of us, a uh, sisterhood that would never be broken. Uh, as we grow older, we have to face the challenges that come along with adulthood. Life becomes a lot less funny and less innocent as we mature. As me and him grew, I learned even more about her. I did not know our friendship could be any deeper than it already was. Um, I got to experience the vulnerable side of her. I lived with her through heartbreak, disappointment, and hopelessness, and I also know the softer side of her. She's hands down one of the most compassionate people I know. Her selflessness and eagerness to help others is what I truly admire about her. Hannah is extremely beautiful and literally takes my breath away, and I wish she knew it. Um, one of the things I admire most about Hannah is she is extremely loyal. We have cycled through friend group after friend group and have stuck by each other's side the whole entire time. Well, almost. Um, I know people say that romantic love can break your heart, but I think friends can break your heart too. Um, me and Hannah went through a two-week breakup sophomore year um, due to our stubbornness, and it was one of the hardest things I have ever had to endure. Uh, we quickly came to our senses, though, and made amends because our moms were so tired of us crying ourselves to sleep every night. We like to joke about it now because I would walk down the hallway and Hannah would be on the side and we'd look at each other and we'd start crying. It was so bad. It was so bad. But it never happened again. Um, I can honestly say life would be a whole lot different without her. There would be less joy and less love. This may sound weird, but I'm platonically in love with Hannah Kimplin. Um, not only is Hannah one of my best friends, she is my sister. Her mom is my other mom, her dad is my other dad, and her sister Becca is my other sister. Her dogs are even my dogs. Heck, I even went on the family vacation with them. Um, it is the same way around, too. There is no one else I care for and love as much as her. She may drive me up a wall and want me to make me rip my ears out sometimes, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I know for a fact that the rest of my life, I will continue to protect Hannah and defend her, even when I know she is wrong. I don't know any other girls who have a stronger bond than the two of us. There isn't a day that go by when we don't talk to each other, even when miles are separating us. We literally have separation anxiety from one another. I don't know what we are going to do next year, and it breaks my heart to think about it, because that will be the worst heartbreak I'll probably have to go through. I'm sorry if I sound super sappy, and I probably have gone over time now, <laughs> but I can keep on going. I could talk about forever this girl. I hope one day you will find your Hannah Kimplin if you haven't. You probably won't, because she is definitely one of a kind. Um, also, I hope you know that if any of you ever try to mess with her or hurt her, I will come after.
after you. Um, <laughs> but seriously, if you don't know Hannah, get to know her because she's the most incredible human being I know. Thank you.